In Season 4 of The Last Kingdom, Uhtred finally moves forward with his plans to take out his villainous uncle Elfric and reclaim his rightful home of Bevenberg. He attacks with a small group, including his friend Bayaka and son, young Uhtred. But it turns out Uhtred's just a little too late, as Elfric's son Witgar has also arrived to take control for himself. Witgar kills his father and the men of Bevenberg pledge their loyalty to him. They then turn their focus on Uhtred and his men. Bayaka sacrifices himself to save young Uhtred as the others flee from Bevenberg. Young Uhtred, who resents his father's violent pagan ways, decides to become a cleric of the Christian church. Uhtred disavows his son, taking back his name. And so young Uhtred becomes Bishop Oswald. Meanwhile, Ethelred conspires with his army commander Eardwolf on how to heighten the power of Mercia to equal that of Wessex. Eardwolf's family name had been tarnished, but Ethelred promised to restore it to its former glory if Eardwolf helps him conquer all of East Anglia. As they begin fighting to reclaim Viking land in East Anglia, Canute, Breda, and their army take the opportunity to invade Mercia. Edward is persuaded by his shady new advisor and father-in-law, Ethelhelm, to hold back on sending forces, as a defeat in Mercia could rid them of the nuisance that Ethelred had become. Edward's mother, Elswith, has different thoughts on the matter, wanting to not only protect her daughter, Ethelfled, but ensure that Edward would still retain the loyalty of the Mercian people. And so, Elswith goes behind Edward's back to ask the Welsh King Highwell for his assistance. Meanwhile, Uhtred rushes to be by Ethelfled's side, and along the way, he encounters the Viking Haston who was looking after Canute's sons. Heston reveals to Uhtred Canute's involvement in Ragnar's death. Uhtred kidnaps Canute's sons and joins Ethelfled in the Mercian village Tetanal. As the Danes attack, the Mercian and Welsh armies defend their land. Soon, Ethelred arrives with his army, as does Edward with the Wessex army. With the combined Christian forces, the Danish army is finally defeated. During the battle, Uhtred and Canute fight, and a pregnant Breda learns of Canute's involvement in Ragnar's death. So she takes revenge, killing Canute, the father of her unborn child. As the battle dies down, Brita asks Uhtred to kill her and send her to Valhalla. But Uhtred refuses and Brita is captured by the Welsh and made a slave. During the battle, Ethelred is mortally wounded. On his deathbed, he must help find a suitable husband for his and Ethelfled's daughter, Elfwyn, to ensure their succession of the crown. Erdwulf befriends Edward, who then proposes Erdwulf would make a perfect match. When Ethelred rejects this idea, Erdwulf kills him. Ethelfled also rejects this proposal so Edward has her imprisoned until after the wedding. Uhtred flees with Elfwyn and discovers that Erdwulf had murdered Ethelred. When Uhtred tells Edward this revelation, the king realizes the errors of his ways and dismisses the treacherous Ethelhelm as his advisor. Edward recognizes the loyalty and respect Uhtred has over the Mercians and decides to appoint him Lord and Protector of Mercia, until a suitable match can be found for Elfwyn. Uhtred's first act on the throne is to immediately relinquish the power to Ethelfled. Ethelfled is made Queen of Mercia until Elfwyn marries and takes a vow of chastity to ensure the succession passes to her daughter. This move at first infuriates Edward, but he realizes he needed to stay aligned with his sister and Mercia to keep their kingdom under Saxon control. Meanwhile, the Viking warlord Sigtrigger raids the Welsh settlements and frees Breda. As they continue to decimate the Welsh army, they come across and capture Erdwulf, who was in hiding following his murder of Ethelred. Erdwulf tells them that Edward had left Winchester undefended, so the Viking army turned their attention there. The Danes take control of Winchester and imprison many of its inhabitants, including Elswith, Ethelhelm, Elflid, Edward's children, and Uhtred's daughter, Stiora. When Erdwulf assaults Stiora, Sigtrigger has him killed. Uhtred leads a negotiation with Sigtrigger to come to a truce. Sigtrigger is given the Northumbrian capital of Yoferwick in exchange for his surrender of Winchester. Sigtrigger also takes a willing Stiora as his captor to ensure Ensure the truce's legitimacy. As the truce between the Saxons and Danes is established and the season comes to a close, Breda vows to be Uhtred's undoing. Ethelhelm poisons Elswith, and Edward entrusts his son Ethelstan into Uhtred's care. And that's everything you need to know before watching the final season of The Last Kingdom. Let me know some of your favorite moments from the entire series so far in the comments below, and what do you hope to see in the final season? Like this video if you found it helpful, subscribe to this channel for more content like it, and that does it for me in this video, but I'll see you in the next one.